Right now, over 10 million children each year are affected by some sort of congenital disorder, trauma, disease, infection that stops the bones from growing to the proper length. The current procedure for doing that is called linear distraction. We are team break and make, and break and make comes from the process of making the bone longer. You surgically fracture it, you break it, and then you make it longer by slowly pulling it apart. So we are team break and make, or team BAM, and we were working to improve the currently existing device for completing this procedure. So our innovation is to improve after the device put on, is to actually automate the whole destruction process and to actually create a force feedback that is actually customized to a personal growth of each patient. Okay, so what you're seeing here is this is what we're modeling as a leg bone. And so say this leg bone were shorter than the other of your two legs, you'd want um, to do this procedure and it's called distraction osteogenesis. But basically that's just to make the leg longer so that it's the same length as your other one. So what they do now is they'll start with this bone, they'll drill these pins here into the bone like you'd see, like you see here. They drill them in and then they'll put this frame and they'll attach this and this part. And that's what they have now. And they'll use a, a wrench to turn this and that'll slowly, slowly separate these two pieces of the bone and the bone grows in in between in this gap. So what we've done is we've created an automated device that uses these components that they use already, but added some extra parts to make it, to, to basically improve the process so it goes faster and it will take less time and take le cost less money for the patient and for the patient's insurance and for the hospital as well. So what we have here is the original device mounted in the bone and then we've added this part here. This is a motor which when turned on, you can see now it's turning. So this, instead of using your hand and a screw to, to, to open this up, to stretch this and to stretch the bone, the motor is now doing that automatically. This is doing it about 5,000 times faster than you would actually do this on a person, but it's just so that you can see right now how it works. The motor's going and going, and then if it gets to be going too fast to where it's doing damage to your nerves or your muscles or your tendons around the bone, it'll automatically shut off the motor and it'll stop stretching the bone so it doesn't do any damage and you won't have to go back in and get another surgery or something like that. It was an amazing opportunity. I didn't even know about this problem existing before I heard about this project and got to work on it. Um, we had the opportunity to meet some patients who are undergoing limb lengthening in the process and see the device on them and talk about how it was changing their lives. We were also able to do some animal testing and I got to learn all sorts of things about biomechanics and electrical engineering and it really opened up a whole new um, aspect of what I could do with my engineering degree.